Oh my god. If you are looking for one of the greatest champions to engage in fights and deliver massive ice one-shots, then Lissandra is just for you. Today, we are taking a closer look at one of her craziest outplays. Make sure to subscribe for more updates, and let's get back in with Paco. The enemies are slowly taking control in the teamfight, and the whole battle is left 2v4, but we have some unexpected turnaround. Aurelia is hard split pushing on the top lane, and even if she's one level behind, she's still able to solo win a fight with Lissandra without any problems. That's why Viljag chose the perfect moment to jump in, wiping every minion, stunning Aurelia under the turret to get help from it. Yeah, that's the sun. Nice one. Und von Essen. Hast du? Na klar. Schön. This game is all about scouting the perfect moment to go in and take as many enemies as possible. At this moment, Zeroth is one of the biggest problems with his huge poke from far behind. That's why teammates can't really go in, as he is heavily protected by Jax and Braum. But this guy has over 700 ability power, and that should fix the problem. Tarek with his ultimate is one of the greatest counters to Lissandra. If you waste your full combo at the wrong time, you will deal zero damage to enemies. After that, they can do everything they want until your cooldowns come back. That's why Iolol didn't waste his spells instantly. It doesn't matter in what division you're playing. Lissandra's passive was changed a long time ago, and enemies still make a huge mistake by fighting around it. This fight could have been an easy win for the red side, but keep an eye on how fast it changed when the clones started to explode. The entire enemy team is slowly gathering up to start a battle for that Drake. If not for Lissandra, there would always be some chances to steal it since Shaco wasn't even there. Zachary Tyler jumps into the middle of the enemy team to buy as much time as possible, and this is why we love Lissandra.
I guess Mordekaiser could not handle Riven in lane, that's why he needed to swap positions. Jian had the first close and really hard fight against her, but thanks to his ultimate, he survived and forced her to turn back. Somehow, he knew that she would not back off at all. This lady doesn't want to waste more time in this game and wants to finish as fast as possible. However, after winning the team fight, most of the team teleports back to base, and the master went for the Drake instead of taking the free Nexus. The enemy Vadas and Raken are still alive, not giving up. They will try to defend. Lissandra is a great pick against Zed, however, if you start to fight, the ultimate won't save you many times because after it ends, he will finish you by throwing many Razor Shurikens, but this guy used a clean combination to take Zed with himself under the turret. As always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to send me your clips using the link in the description. Have a great day, stay safe, and see you next time.